I said it before and I'm going to say it again, okay? Vaping as we know it. This market is a buyer's market. If you are a buyer, you are a consumer. Keep looking, man, because this market is saturated. It's super competitive. Hell, you got this mod right here, and this is the Wismec Relo RX200, the mod that we're going to be talking about today, but compared to this, you got those Wismec Relo DNA 200, and it's 80 to 100 bucks more expensive than this. It's RX200. This has the RX200 chip. It's a proprietary chip. This has the DNA 200 chip in it. You know, you can use software with the DNA 200 chip. You could go in, tweak your vape. It's for the techie turds out there. To be honest with you, 2% of the population, that's the only percent that's going to be using this. The other 98% of the vaping population doesn't give a flying fart. They don't care. Okay, so if you're one of those, you're the 98%, go with this one. It's great for the consumer. Like I said, this is a buyer's market. It's comfortable. It's more comfortable than this. It's got like a rubbery finish on the back panel and the front panel. It's definitely more grippy. I like the fire button and the function buttons better. They're clicky, clicky buttons. Okay, these buttons right here are definitely more mm, springy. And with this, you can vape at 200 watts. It's a triple 18 650 mod just like this one. You get battery life for days. Okay, I vape between 25 and 50 watts and I could go for days with this thing. It's awesome. And the fact that this has upgradable firmware, ooh, that is a big plus. It may not have the software like the DNA 200 chip, but it's got upgradable firmware that actually works. And with this RX200, you could vapor in temp mode and regular waters mode. In temp mode, you could vapor all the way down to 0.05 in between 0.05 and 0.1 ohms. And you could vapor with titanium, nickel, or stainless steel. In waters mode, regular waters mode, you could build it all the way down to 0.1, all the way up to 3.5 ohms. The menu screen on this device is the same size as the menu screen on the Wismec Relo DNA 200 chip. It's bright, it's easy to read, and it's super easy to navigate. You got two color options. One, you could choose the teal blue and the cream like you guys see right here, or you can get this sucker all blacked out. The 510 connection up top on this RX200 is gold plated spring loaded. Everything I screw on here sits down flush first of all and it makes a connection. And like I mentioned before this is a Chinese chip. This RX200 chip is a proprietary chip. Here's the deal okay. I'm having less battery sag on this Chinese product versus any other Chinese product out on the market especially all the ones that say that they vape at 200 watts okay. Now I will say this when I first received this product there was a little bit of battery sag but like I mentioned the upgradable firmware it works man. I upgraded the firmware and I tell you there's I mean little to no battery sag. So the only two cons that I found for this mod, okay, one, the back panel. There is a little play in there, a little bit of play. Hear that? It doesn't do that when I'm vaping on it, but it's got to be mentioned. And also, there's gaps in here, man. Just like the Wismec Relo DNA 200, you had gaps at the bottom of the front panel, gaps on the back panel. Anybody who's OCD that looks for that stuff, and I am OCD, man. I am a car collector. I mean, I'm restoring two different cars right now. My mind says, you know what? Make these as perfect as possible. If there's one thing off, I notice it, and I'm like, got to fix it. But that's got to be mentioned. Also, another thing, if you are looking for a stealthy vape, you're looking for a small mod, this isn't for you, okay? This is on the bigger side. Even though it's ergonomical, it's big. Got a lot of girth to it. That's what she said. Alrighty, so here's the packaging for this Wismec Relo RX200. Pop the lid and inside we got our Wismec Relo RX200 and then underneath that, what do we got? We've got a battery warning card, a Relo RX200 user manual, and a USB cable for upgradable firmware. So here's a close up view of this beauty, the Wismec Relo RX200, few specs for you. As far as measurements, she's 84 millimeter by 50 millimeter by 40 millimeter. She's exactly the same size as the Wismec Relo DNA 200. I mean exactly the same size, guys. At the top, she's got stainless steel 510 threads. She also has a gold-plated spring-loaded 510 pin. And she's got this 22 millimeter catch cup for your 22 millimeter devices. Just like the Wismec Rollo DNA 200 on the front of this device, you got your fire button in the middle, you got your menu screen, then below that you got your waters up, waters down buttons, and then your USB port for charging and upgradable firmware. So here's the difference. As you guys can see with this Wismec Rollo DNA 200, the screen is lower. It's embedded into the body, whereas with the Wismec Rollo RX 200, the screen's not. It's flat. It's flush. The fire button also says j -Bow. and then down here you don't have a little divot in here like you do on the Wismec Relo DNA 200. These buttons feel a little bit differently and you know what? These buttons are also clickier. 
And also the front panel of this device, it's got this like rubbery feel, it's grippy. It doesn't feel quite like the Vapor Shark devices or the Segelli 150 watt TC or most other devices that have the rubberized finish, but it definitely feels like it's got something going on, like a grippy finish. It's super comfortable. And the same thing for the back panel, which we'll get into, it's got that rubberized grippy finish as well. So on one side of this device, you have three holes for battery venting, and then you also have three holes for battery venting on the other side. So check it out. Here's the base of this device. At the top, you get the Wismac logo. Below that, it says Relo RX200. And then below that, it says designed by Jabo, manufactured by Wismac. And you also have a plethora of vent holes for battery venting. So here's the back panel for this device. Now it is magnetic, just like the Wismac Relo DNA200. And I keep saying that because this is the exact same body, but you got one divot over here. You got one divot over here. You get in here and you grab it and you just pull it and boom, she comes out. So here's the inside of this magnetic back panel. You got one magnet here, 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 a total of four. And I mean, she's clean, super clean. And here's an up close look at this battery tray. Everything is super clean. And look at this. You notice with this, you don't have those protruding rings, okay? So the protruding positive rings, no more, okay? And you know what? That's better because some of the issues I was having with the Wismac Relo DNA 200, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and show you. So here's the battery tray for the Relo DNA 200. Look at these. These positive connections have these protruding rings. Now, that's a uh, supposed to be a good plus, a big plus, and it was for a while. But when I started switching out different batteries, I noticed that not all the batteries were making a connection. It was because these protruding rings. Now they got rid of that in the Wismac Relo RX200, which is a good thing because all my batteries now work great. They make a connection. So now that we're back to the close up view of this battery tray for the RX200, you can see it does not have the protruding rings. And I mean, that's a big plus. I could use all my batteries for this. I don't have any problems with the connection. But all the connections are gold plated. Positive connections do have this spring loaded thing going on. Positive up, negative down. And also, whenever you're using a device like this or any other device, okay, you want to marry your battery. So, for example, these three batteries are the same brand. They're the exact same battery. I pulled them out of the package together, and ever since I pulled them out of the package together, I've been using them together. I've charged them together. I've discharged them together, and I've used them just for this device. And I recommend you guys do the same thing. Don't crisscross your batteries for this device or any other device for that matter. Battery panel slides back on. Boom. So, in order to turn this device on, you click the fire button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Right now, we're running this thing at 10 temperature mode it says 500 degrees Fahrenheit and we're running it in nickel mode but you can see the battery gauge the resistance and the wattage and if you tap the fire button while there's nothing on this device what's it gonna say no atomizer. So in order to adjust the temperature, use these two buttons right here, the wattage up or wattage down or temperature up and temperature down. And you can adjust her in Fahrenheit between two and 600 degrees or Celsius between 100 and 315 degrees. And that goes for using nickel wire, titanium or stainless steel. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust her up. And the route robin's right into Celsius. Adjust her up to 315. Route robin's right back into Fahrenheit. Now, if you want to go ahead and change the wattage, whether you're running nickel, titanium, or stainless steel, in order to do that, hit the fire button four times. One, two, three, four. So whenever you're in a different mode and you hit the fire button four times, other than wattage mode, it takes it right into wattage where you can adjust it. Adjust down, adjust down to 0.1 increments. But here's the thing, with my device, and I know it's a glitch, whenever I hold the wattage down, it doesn't go anywhere. It sucks, man. I'm not gonna wanna sit here forever and adjust it and hold it down and adjust it and hold it down and not go anywhere. Whenever I hold it up, it scrolls right up and it scrolls up fast. And this goes for nickel, titanium, or stainless steel. It's just the mod that I have. I've got friends that have this. I know vendors that have these and they don't have this issue. It's just with mine. It's gotta be mentioned as a con because I know if I'm having this issue, someone out there is having the same damn issue. But that's how to adjust the wattage in nickel, titanium, or stainless steel. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and switch modes. Right now, as you guys can see, we're in nickel mode. Hit the fire button three times. One, two, three. Takes us to titanium. One, two, three. Takes us to stainless steel. One, two, three. Takes us into wattage. But yeah, in wattage mode, you see the battery gauge, the resistance, the voltage, and the wattage over the right. I can scroll down in wattage mode. Thank goodness. <laughs> And when you scroll down, I mean, it moves fast and it goes all the way down to one watt. Now to lock the wattage up or wattage down buttons while this device is on, you want to hold the wattage up and wattage down buttons down at the same time. It locks it. You can fire it up, but you can't adjust it. You can't adjust the wattage or the temperature. And same goes for temperature mode, obviously. Now to unlock, do the exact same thing. Hold the wattage down, wattage up buttons down at the same time. 
and she's unlocked. Now I can adjust her. So what I've done is I've screwed this Vaporoso sub ohm tank on here. I've got a 0.17 ohm nickel coil head in this tank and now before I fire what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lock the resistance. In order to do that while this device is on hold down the fire button and the water jug button down at the same time and she's locked. You see that? The lock symbol is next to the resistance. Now to take this thing in stealth mode while this device is on hold down the fire button and the water down button down at the same time. Stealth mode is on. Turn the stealth mode off. Do the same thing. Hold down the fire button and the watch down button down at the same time. Stealth mode is off. Now in order to flop the screen, what you gotta do is turn this device off, one, two, three, four, five. And then once this device is off, hold down the watch up, watch down buttons down at the same time. And she flips. Flip her back, do the exact same thing while this device is off. Oh yeah. So that right there, boys and girls, is an up-close look at this Wizmec Relo RX200 mod. Let's go ahead and take her back to face. Now on to the big question, the big answer today. Hey, Rip, if you'd have lost this thing today, would you go out tomorrow and buy one? And the answer is absolutely freaking lutely You know, it's a better bang for your buck. 80 to 100 bucks cheaper than this device with the DNA 200 chip. Yeah. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead. Vaping is the future, and the future is now.